In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create this cute spider uh, wristlet coin purse. Uh, this is a, obviously a Halloween themed project. This will be really cute to carry with you while you are trick-or-treating with your kids. Uh, this is a free pattern, so if you would like to create uh, the spider uh, zipper pouch, um, just uh, download the file uh, from the link posted in the description box below. Um, if you like my projects and you would like me to create more videos and more patterns, please make sure to give the video a like and to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would love to hear from you, so if you have any suggestions uh, or questions, please uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Um, this is a quick project. Uh, this coin purse is unlined. I don't think it needs lining. Um, so all you need is just a small pieces of vinyl. Um, you can, I'm using a black vinyl, but you can go crazy. You can use um, any color vinyl you like, and I think it's gonna look equally cute. Um, so all you need, it's basically some scrap vinyls for the eyes, and in the pattern boat, uh, options for the eyes will be included. Uh, a small piece of zipper tape and uh, some webbing tape and uh, regular um, half an inch hardware. The full supply list uh, is included with the downloadable pattern file, uh, so you can get that and, and see what's needed to complete the project. Uh, if you're gonna try to make one, uh, I would love to see your version, so please make sure to uh, share that with me on the social media. Uh, you can join my Facebook group or uh, just tag me on Instagram um, both uh, links to both uh, the Facebook and Instagram are in the description box below. Uh, if you would like to see me creating this cute uh, spider zipper pouch, please keep watching. To uh, start our project, uh, we will be cutting out all our needed pieces. So we're gonna use pattern piece A to cut out the front and the back of our pouch and in only one panel we're gonna cut out the zipper opening then we're gonna use panel c to cut the left eye and panel b to cut the right eye uh, to embellish the eyes i'm just gonna be using two black uh, beads you can use uh, buttons um, you can use uh, just something that will just imitate the eyes whatever you have on hand uh, we're also gonna need a uh, zipper tape. It's a zipper tape number five, but you can use zipper tape number uh, three. It should work just fine. I'm gonna have my zipper pull, some rivets. Uh, I'm gonna do a wristlet strap, so I'm gonna be using a swivel clasp and a uh, grommet to make the hole for the clasp to connect to my pouch. Uh, also, I'm gonna have those two uh, 16 inch long strips of uh, the black vinyl and that uh, those strips will become the legs of the spider. Also I'm gonna be using the webbing tape. It's a half an inch webbing tape. Uh, I'm gonna be using about 14 inches of the webbing tape to create my wristlet strap and to um, fasten the wristlet strap to the clasp I'm gonna be using uh, rivets. Uh, also I'm going to be using just a regular pinking shears uh, to create um, the spiky edge of the pouch all around. Um, you'll see uh, how it's being done uh, during the video. So now the first thing we want to start with uh, attaching our eyes to our uh, face of the spider. So you're going to take your panel C and B and using double-sided tape we're gonna affix them to the top of the panel so put just a small strap of the double-sided tape on the back of each eye panel And referring to the template provided uh, with, with the pattern, just uh, place the eyes on top of the 
on the way. Uh, so on this spider, I'm using the option with the round eyes. And like I mentioned before, you're gonna get two options. You're gonna get options for those angry spider eyes or those uh, kind of funny spider eyes. So you can choose uh, which one you wanna use or you can make multiple with different eyes choices. Um, so now that you have uh, the eyes affixed to your A panel, uh, you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna top stitch around the eyes uh, with the one eighth of an inch seam allowance. I will actually use um, 2.5 stitch length because it's easier with a smaller stitch length to create a more curvy seam line. So that's something to uh, consider. Also, I'm going to use a matching thread. So if your top stitching is not perfect, it's not going to be uh, really visible. Uh, that's just a tip. So I'm going to go, go ahead and take it to the machine and affix my eyes to my spider face. I sew in my eyes onto my spider face and what I did, I pulled my, all my four thread ends uh, to the back of the project. So now I can just clip the ends on the wrong side. and melt the ends with the lighter. When that's done, uh, I'm gonna work on the placement of my little eyes. So I have my beads and um, you know, you can choose whatever you like. You can do a funny spider or, um, you know, you can do kind of cross-eyed uh, spider. So that uh, depends on what look you're going for. Uh, but this is the next step. So we're gonna take our little buttons or beads and uh, just hand sew them uh, to our project. Our eyes are now completed. Now we can move on to attaching our zipper. So you wanna make sure your zipper pull is inserted onto your zipper. And now we're gonna use double-sided tape to place strip of the tape along the two edges of our zipper. And now that you have the tape affixed to the zipper tape, we're gonna uh, center it inside our zipper opening. I start with removing the backing tape of the strap on the top of the zipper, making sure that my zipper is centered, make sure it looks um, good on the inside. And after we sew in the zip zipper, we can uh, trim the overlapping ends if that's necessary. So we will just wanna make sure it looks nice and neat from the right side. Remove the second backing and now uh, that your zipper tape is affixed to your uh, outer panel uh, you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna top stitch around the zipper uh, with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length making sure you are catching the ends of the zipper so just make sure that your zipper is centered inside the zipper opening now that my zipper is sewn, I want to make sure that the ends of the zipper tape won't be cut in the final seam. So I think I'm fine on this side, but here I'm going to trim my zipper tape 
tiny bit. After you trim the zipper tape, just melt the ends with the lighter. And now it looks good, so I'm all good to go. Uh, our next step is to prep our little spider legs. Uh, so I have my 16 by half an inch strip uh, ready. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, just fold it in half, wrong sides together, and take it to the machine and top stitch along the uh, raw edge. Uh, you can use clips to keep that in place, the fold, um, or you can just uh, guide it as you go uh, with your stitch on your sewing machine. So we wanna do it with both of our uh, 16 inch strips of vinyl. Now that you have both of the 16 inch straps uh, folded in half and top stitch, we're gonna split it in four. So you're gonna fold it in half first, cut that in half, and then repeat that on the shorter parts. Now that we cut our uh, straps, the next step is to tie knots on the end of each spider leg. Now that you have all your legs prepped, you're gonna put them aside, take uh, the second panel A without the zipper opening and place it wrong side up and align uh, your prepped um, zipper panel on, on it so both sides are wrong sides together. Now take clips and clip the project all the way around. If your edges do not align perfectly, don't worry about it, because after we stitch our project, then we're gonna trim it with the pinking shears. And if you do not have pinking shears, um, you can just trim it all around with the regular fabric shears. And this way, um, it's better to just sew the project around and then trim uh, any shift vinyl or anything that it's popping out, uh, then try to make it uniform before you sew it. So make sure you sew it first and then trim anything that you feel uh, needs to be fixed. So now that we have our spider uh, clipped all around, we want to mark our opening for our uh, little legs. Uh, you're gonna place it, uh, you're gonna place your project on the mat, uh, marking from half an inch. So, uh, and make sure that it's straight. And then uh, find an inch and a half mark uh, on your project. And that's where you're gonna place your first pin. Just pin it inside of the vinyl, so you're not gonna damage the, the face of the vinyl. Mark it on both sides. And then from that point, you're gonna mark another half an uh, inch and a half. And again, just place a pin inside of the project. 
and this way we're gonna leave this part unsewn so then we can uh, come back and attach our little spider legs so uh, this is the purpose of marking the inch and a half space so when you have that all uh, clipped and marked you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna sew from this pin to this pin with the one fourth of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length and from this pin to that pin and make sure to back stitch on the end of the seams uh, and make sure you're not gonna sew those parts we want to come back and finish it up when our legs are uh, attached now i top stitch around my uh, project leaving those two spaces and so on and um, i don't know, i'm not sure if that's visible on the camera but you can see that um, there is a little bit of a sheen to my vinyl and that's a tip i want to share with you so if I have trouble with my uh, presser foot going smoothly on my vinyl, I use a machine lubricant. I just put a little bit on uh, the vinyl and this way it, it really helps with the just a regular, not even a Teflon foot, just a regular uh, presser foot to just slide uh, freely on the vinyl. So if you're having trouble, just get yourself a little tube of lubricant but make sure uh, it's feasible for your sewing machine so you're not gonna damage your sewing machine all right so now that our pouch is sewn we're gonna use our pinking shears uh, to give the edge a spiky look so I'm just gonna go back and trim the seam allowance making sure I'm not cutting my stitches but I want to make sure that I'm, I'm catching both sides uh, of the vinyl. Now that my project is trimmed and I have a, a cute spiky edge to my project, I'm gonna work on attaching my spider legs so you're gonna take one of the legs and place it inside about three eighths of an inch and continue with four legs on each side just spread them evenly um, in each opening When you have the spider legs inserted into your project, you're gonna take your project to the machine and you're gonna continue the seam uh, to attach the legs. So make sure and pay attention to uh, how deep the little legs are. You wanna make sure they are deep enough to be caught in the seam and just uh, continue the seam to close the opening with the 3.5 uh, stitch line and repeat that on the other side. So now that your uh, spider legs are attached to your project, you can inspect the seams from the back and make sure you don't have any uh, fraying threads. If you do, you can just use slider to just quickly zap any threads. And now the last thing to do uh, is to create our wristless strap. To create the wristless strap, we would need 14 inches of um, a half an inch webbing tape uh, you're gonna take your swivel clasp thread um, thread it onto the webbing tape you're gonna take the short end and fold it by three eighths of an inch then you're gonna fold that onto the long end of the tape and take the other end of your webbing and slide it inside of the fold 
now that we have uh, this configuration of the webbing we have a one big loop for our wrist and a little one that it's uh, attached to the swivel clasp we want to secure that uh, so you can sew it on your machine or you can use a rivet to do so so i'm going to use a rivet i'm going to punch a hole in the middle making sure that i'm punching the hole through all four layers of the webbing take my rivet thread it through the punch hole and secure it with my rivet press So my wristlet strap is ready and I use this uh, small grommet, it's a 3 8 of an inch uh, grommet uh, to make a little hole for uh, my swivel clasp to be attached to. So all that it's left to do is just attach my strap onto my pouch. And just like that, your spider coin purse is completed.